The golden clock ticks, boredom, curiosity, a cozy fix. It ticks again, and all the intelligent students click their heels on their way to the intelligent classes with their intelligent teachers. They are such intelligent creatures. They are smart people in an old building, in an old city, in a new country. A new country with religious freedom, justice, peace, unity, liberty, a place to be you and me. Or a new country with racism, sexism, injustice, discrimination, hate, and war. How can I set off fireworks on the 4th of July when all I hear about on the news is the innocent people with dark skin losing their lives because of an unfair justice system? And how can I celebrate a country where the 10th grade English teacher gives all the Jewish students a B- and an A for the rest of the class and some random blonde kid named Linus? How can I walk down the sidewalk feeling safe in a place where more than 50% of transgender youth will have had at least one suicide attempt by their 20th birthday? I am supposed to live peacefully, knowing that the country I belong to, the country that I am supposed to love, the country that makes me who I am, was built off hypocrisy and lies. Wait, this is where I sigh. Native Americans had settled on this sand long before our British hands, but Christopher Columbus is called the great man that newly founded this beautiful land. 152 years ago, in 1863, Abraham Lincoln addressed the nation that all persons held as slaves are and henceforward shall be free. One month ago, the Supreme Court ruled that same-sex couples may exercise the fundamental right to marry in all states, so I celebrated at the New York City Gay Pride Parade. But could this ruling maybe be a little bit too late? And was this event still a protest or a social test? as it was when it began with signs in November of 1969, on the same street with so many people in tears, that to this day we continue to march and wave on the last Saturday of June every single year. Progression? Progress. But not there yet. Feelings of confusion, disinterest. But please don't forget where we came from and who we are now. Because one day it could be you calling out what to do next and how. We're gonna celebrate that I did it! We're celebrating that I did it! That took me so long, Lucy, don't fall down. Thank you for watching. That is something that I wrote after taking a trip to Boston. We took a tour of Harvard, Ivy Leagues, this huge deal and I mean they are but it's just so like okay you're smart I get it but shout out to the girls from Emma sorry that was so weird it took me so long to finally be able to do it I'm gonna stop talking now or I'll just keep going but thank you for watching subscribe like leave a comment share with other people if you enjoyed